Diamant is a German bicycle brand. Topic: History. The first Diamant branded bicycles came out of Chemnitz, Germany. The company Gebrud & Avoigd, Reichenbrand, Chemnitz Gebrud & Avoigd, Reichenbrand, Chemnitz was founded in 1882, by Frederick and William Navoigd. They started out manufacturing parts for sewing machines and a line of higher quality needles. In 1885, they added bicycles to their offerings. Following enthusiastic popular demand for their new bicycles, they added a new wing to the factory, and in 1895, the newly branded Diamant bicycles began to roll off the new assembly line. Innovation continues, in response to existing bicycle chains' poor durability. In 1898, Diamant introduces a new double roller chain, a design that was to become our modern worldwide standard, now in use on all sorts of machines, from bicycles to motors to industrial machinery. And in 1912, tests the market with a newly developed the Damon Rad ladies' bicycle, a new bicycle frame designed for ladies, with a top tube curving down, allowing to step through, instead of over, the bike. The model is dubbed the Toppers. Sales and demand continued to grow, and production capacity needs to be expanded once again. In 1906 the company goes public to raise capital for the expansion, becoming Gebrüder und Avoigd AG, Reichenbrand Chemnitz. In 1920, racing sponsorship begins, and by 1921, cyclists riding Diamant win 20 out of 29 races. During the Depression in 1927, the company goes under bankruptcy protection until 1928, when Adam Opel AG acquires a controlling interest, relaunching the company, now Elite Diamant AG. In 1934, Diamant introduces the delivery bicycle, with the large adjustable carrier on the front. During the same year, Diamant develops new tube bending machinery, allowing the introduction of their Gesund Heitzlenker health beneficial handlebars, whereby the handles are facing the direction one is going, resulting in a more comfortable ride, on a model dubbed the Holland Rad Hollander bike. In 1935, growth continues and employment reaches 529 employees. But throughout all its history, the company's production rises and falls, following with tumultuous times and social change. Diamant developed stronger lightweight tubing, allowing the development of their racing bike, Model 67, in time for Ernst IHBE Leipzig and Carly Lorenz Chemnitz to win gold at the 1936 Olympic Games, and for Diamant to also be in gold position during the German National Championships, and the World's Championships in Zurich. Throughout the Second World War, Diamant became obliged to divert production and materials to help in the war effort. Even the well-known Diamant badge fell victim, no longer being made, to save on materials. After the war, during the Russian occupation, the company was taken over by Soviet state-run company, Autowolo. In 1951 the company grew to 1,588 employees, and at its head, Kurt Schneeway set a new goal of 200,000 bicycles. In 1952, in recognition of its outstanding performance, economical and in job creation, a major part of the company is returned to ownership of the GDR, and it becomes VEB Elite Diamant People's Owned Corporation Elite Diamont. In 1953, a record number of 295,000 bicycles were produced, and 1956 saw the three millionth Diamont bicycle come off the assembly lines. Production dipped to under 200k units, then rose again to 270k units in 1956, which included 10,000 higher-end sports bikes. These sales, combined with 1,764 flat knitting machines, brought total sales to 47 million German marks. The company went through further growing pains in the late 60s, as the projections for 330k units turned out to be far off the mark, from the actual 550,000 units produced in 1969. By the 70s, Diamant was exported to other countries, under the names Elite Diamant or Original Diamant, only in the country's own West German market, could Diamant not be sold under its own name, and was marketed under the name, Diadem, instead. Following the fall of the Berlin Wall, Diamant becomes a public corporation again, under the name, Elite Diamant, GmbH Flachstrickmaschinen und Fahrradwerken Chemnitz. In 1992, the bicycle production division is spun off as a separate corporate entity, Diamant Radwerk GmbH. 
1996 sees the introduction of the handy bicycle, a full-size folding bicycle, made of stainless steel, impervious to the elements, designed for sportlers, beachgoers, boat owners and apartment dwellers. The 10 millionth Diamant comes out of the factory in 1998. 2002 sees the acquisition of Diamant Faradwerk GmbH by the Trek Bicycle Corporation, which has a positive effect. The company introduces more innovations in its model lineup, like the Drive Plus system, which is an electronic drive assist on the bicycle, and rolling out the line of pedal exebikes. Today, the Diamant brand is focused on popular models, for city, touring and sports riding, focused on making the riding experience pleasurable. Along with Trex Racing Bicycles, the two brands form cohesion and are complete offerings, spanning all markets. The company is not connected with the Norwegian bicycle manufacturer of the same name. <laughs> 